Singapore is extending a heightened safety period by another three months as workplace fatalities inch up. Four deaths have been reported since the start of this year. Companies are now required to conduct a timeout to review their safety procedures until the end of May. The Manpower Ministry is also imposing additional measures. For companies found to have serious lapses, their top leaders, like the CEO or a board director, will be required to physically attend a half-day enhanced training course. This will help them better understand their workplace safety and health duties and analyze the root cause of top incidents. But while some leaders see it as a welcome refresher, others feel it may not be necessary. Actually, I find that... Uh, uh training to the top management it has to be more tailored uh, in terms of uh, programs and in terms of uh, how to encourage the entire um, uh, company or the corporates uh, to execute any safety uh, policy and programs uh, instead of focusing on the on the you know those uh, procedures and steps the industry is very diverse it's, it's good to get everybody involved in that sense uh. But whether this will actually serve to help to bring the whole thing down, perhaps maybe it's something that we need to work uh, uh, towards. Uh. Maximum fines for workplace breaches that result in death or serious injury will more than double to $50,000. A national campaign will also be launched to encourage workers to report safety concerns to supervisors and the authorities. Right-sized guidance materials will be introduced to all companies from May to help employers instill a stronger safety culture.